today in this PSLE 2019 paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 16. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's jump straight into question 16. Okay, this over here is question 16 and this question is testing us on circles and we should visualize, okay? So this question was actually a pretty tough question and it's not that tough but it's actually really tricky, okay? If you know how to solve part A, you can solve part B really easily. So let's read the question for part A first. The figure is formed by five identical semicircles. Part A, what is the diameter of each circle? So the diameter is basically this length, right? So I'm going to label the diameter as one unit, okay? And same applies to all the others. This is one U, okay? This is also one U. This is one U and this is one U, okay? So we are supposed to find one unit. Okay, so I'm going to form an equation for both of these. So I'm going to find the total length, one unit plus 12, plus 1 unit, plus 12, plus 1 unit. After that, this total length, 22 cm, plus 1 unit, plus 16 cm, plus 1 unit, plus 22 cm. So both of these, what I told you, is equal to each other. So this is what I'm going to do first. So this is what we get. After that, I'm going to simplify it, which will give us 3 units plus 24 plus, is equal to 2 units plus 16. Okay, remember I said, this normal with no digits in front, right, is actually a plus or invisible plus sign in front of it and when we bring it over the equal sign it will give us a minus okay because plus when you bring it over the over the equal sign you give us an opposite one so it will give us minus so actually two units will become minus two units in the this side so it's three units minus two units and this plus 24 will become minus 24 so 60 minus 24 okay so you give us 3 units minus 2 units is equal to 60 minus 24. And we are supposed to find 1 unit. So 3 units minus 2 units is equal to 1 unit. And this is 36. So 36 is the answer for part A. So 36 cm is the answer for part A. Okay, so I hope you understood my explanation for part A. Let's move on to part B now. So for part B, they are telling us to use the calculator value of pi. So we need to use the, the pi in our calculator, okay? to find the parameter of the figure. So parameter, what is parameter? Parameter is actually pi d, right? Okay, round the answer to two decimal places. Okay, so first for part b, I'm going to find the parameter of the figure, right? It's actually 5 arcs plus 22 cm plus 12 cm plus 16 plus 12 plus 22. Okay, the parameter, let me highlight the parameter to you. So 1 arc, 12 cm. 2 arc 12 cm, 3 arc 22 cm, 4 arc 16 cm, 5 arc 22 cm again. So this is actually the parameter, okay? So this is what we need to do. So the parameter is equal to pi d times half times 5 because in order to find the 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 arc of a semicircle, since the semicircle is half of a circle, we need to times half as well. And then we times 5 because there's 5 arcs. And then we just add up these. So you will get pi times 36 times half times 5. Okay? Plus all of these. Just add all of these together. After that, we will get 282.743338 cm plus 84 cm, which will give us 366.743388 cm. Okay, so this is actually a long number, right? That is why they are asking us to round our answer to two decimal places. So after rounding off, you'll get 366.74 cm as the answer for part B. Okay, how do we round off to two decimal places? Okay, we draw an arrow mark on the second decimal place and draw a line underline the next digit so it's three bigger than five or lesser than five it's lesser than five right so that is why it does not change that is why four does not increase it remains the same and the rest of the trees and eights will become zeros so 
this zero we do not actually write it so it will only give us 366.74 cm so this is the answer for part b okay so i hope you understood my explanation for this question question 16 using our circles and visualization skill to solve it okay thank you and bye bye i'll see you in my next video bye